A Farewell Farewell, thou little nook of mountain ground, thou rocky corner in the lower stair of that magnificent temple which doth bound one side of our whole vale with grandeur rare. Sweet garden orchard, eminently fair, the loveliest spot that man hath ever found, farewell. We leave thee to heaven's peaceful care, thee and the cottage which thou dost surround. Our boat is safely anchored by the shore, and there we'll safely ride when we are gone. The flowering shrubs that deck our humble door will prosper, though untended and alone. Fields, goods, and far-off chattels we have none. These narrow bounds contain our private store of things earth makes and sun doth shine upon. Here are they in our sight, we have no more. Sunshine and shower be with you, bud and bell. For two months now in vain we shall be sought. We leave you here in solitude to dwell with these our latest gifts of tender thought. Thou, like the morning, in thy saffron coat, bright gowan, and marsh marigold, farewell. Whom from the borders of the lake we brought, and placed together near our rocky well. We go for one to whom you will be dear, and she will prize this bar, this Indian shed, our own contrivance, building without peer. A gentle maid, whose heart is lowly bred, Whose pleasures are in wild fields gathered, With joyousness and with a thoughtful cheer, Will come to you, to you herself will wed, And love the blessed life that we lead here. Dear spot, which we have watched with tender heed, Bringing the chosen plants and blossoms blown Among the distant mountains, flower and weed which thou hast taken to thee as thy own, making all kindness registered and known. Thou for our sakes, though nature's child indeed, fair in thyself and beautiful alone, hast taken gifts which thou dost little need. And O most constant yet most fickle place that hast thy wayward moods, as thou dost show to them who look not daily on thy face, who, being loved, in love no bounds dost know, and sayest, when we forsake thee, let them go. Thou easy-hearted thing, with thy wild race of weeds and flowers, till we return be slow, and travel with the year at a soft pace. Help us to tell her tales of years gone by, And this sweet spring, the best beloved and best. Joy will be flown in its mortality. Something must stay to tell us of the rest. Here, thronged with primroses, The steep rock's breast glittered at evening Like a starry sky. And in this bush our sparrow built her nest, of which I sang one song that will not die. O happy garden, whose seclusion deep hath been so friendly to industrious hours, and to soft slumbers that did gently steep our spirits, carrying with them dreams of flowers and wild notes warbled among leafy bowers. To burning months let summer overleap, and coming back with her who will be ours, into thy bosom we again shall creep.